Yeah. You ever do any shows? It's hot as shit out there. Nah, I've never performed in Victorville. You ever been to Apple Valley? I don't think I've ever performed in the IE. Really? And I've maybe been to the IE. Um, well, no, I'm lying. Um, like, I've done, like, Power 106 shit and the beat shit when they be doing the... Oh, at the Toyota Center? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, i done. But as far as my own personal shows, nah. You gotta, bro, never. you got to do, like, Pomona or something. Yeah. And I got love out there. I love the IE, man. They got a lot of uh, beautiful girls out there. Um, a lot of homies out there I fuck with. You know what I mean? But I haven't... Um, Victorville's a pretty interesting place. It's very like a... It's a gumbo pot, it's man. It's messy out there. <laughs> I mean, the Southern California is... Nah, 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 Yeah. Nah, nah. Victorville and Apple Valley? Very messy. It's very... It's like everybody goes out there to cook meth and grow weed. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's, it's it's wide open, huh? It is wide open. So next time you're on your way to Vegas, you drive through. Just know you get off, bust the right, drive into Apple Valley, and there's just fucking grows hey, and meth farms everywhere. You know what's crazy? We went to the. Uh, was you with us, Steels? When we um, jumped in the car, I jumped in the suburban when we was in uh, New Mexico. Oh, yeah, yeah. We just sliding around. We don't got nothing to do. I jumped in the car, start driving around. We like, let's go buy the Breaking Bad house. Oh, that we, lady hates it when people go over there. Bro, we pull up. I pull up to take some pictures and shit. She tripping. It's like, bitch, why you buy this house or let them use your house if you finna be acting like that? She should sell it. Yeah. Someone would, if someone bought that house. She's like, fuck you guys. Get the fuck away from here. Did you see the, uh, did you go to the restaurant? Poils at home? They, they got like the, whatever the original restaurant. Yeah, I went there too. Like you, I got pictures in front of it, but I didn't, um. You no, know, if you there. go inside, there's like murals and shit and like actual like props from the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't go in. I just And then they have a statue. They oh, have what? like a, a copper statue of Jesse and uh, uh, Jesse Pinkman and uh, Walter White. On the inside? No. In Is the, that the hot dog stand? No, it's a... Uh, what was that stand that we... We went to the one where Jesse sells meth at the, the hot dog one. So the Pollos Hermanos, the, the chicken spot. The okay, I'm not... I never watched the show. What? No. Nah. So why are you even over there looking at shit? I mean, it's you know, it's some cultural. It's got zero, shit. absolutely zero significance to you. It's some cultural shit. How have you, you never I mean? seen Breaking Bad? What do you I watch? Know. Fucking, what are we watching? <laughs> interview you, cab, uh, bootleg cab interviews. You don't watch shit. TV shows? Uh, BMF. I've been off BMF. I like all the fifty shit. So, so power BMF. I told Raising myself Canaan. last week, the last episode of BMF. I said I'm gonna stop watching until the season is over, so I could just watch everything, everything. at once. Because if you do, because at the end of the shit, it just leave me like fuck. It's bro. a cliffhanger, and you can't you can't go to the next one. Yeah. So I'm a um. I'm going to fall back for a few weeks so I could just watch three episodes. You know what's once. crazy is like uh, I try to get into the first season of Power. And it just felt real unrealistic. Yeah. And I was like, nah, I have never finished Power. Never got into nah. any of the. Yeah, I was late on Power. Probably but like the last season. Did you ever watch The Wire? Back the, in the Wire? Day? Shit, yeah. That's, that's my favorite I had the ever. fucking DVD. I used to be sitting in the spots, in the dope spot, watching The Wire. Yeah, that's my favorite show ever. Yeah. Omar Little, the greatest TV character ever. A, a gay man who was robbing all the drug dealers. I mean, and everybody that's not, was shook, bro. That's really not too far. He was literally though. walking down the street and he would whistle and they would just throw the fucking stashes out the window because they didn't want him to come in and kill him. Yeah, that's not far fetched. Like L.A. back in the day, like it's stories. Of course, I wasn't there, but it's stories of a, a gang of notorious booty bandit niggas that was jacking, that was jacking niggas, fucking them, taking pictures of them, blackmailing them. Yeah, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was tricky out here when 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 that uh, so they would, dope was the. They would fuck dudes, take pictures of them, rob them, yeah. and then blackmail them. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a famous story about a dude. I ain't gonna say his name or where he from, but I was in prison with him though. Okay, you know what I'm saying? And he like is a notorious man. He in a couple books and everything. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah would bro. they be doing that shit to famous people? Um, not like fam street famous people. Street famous people. Yeah. Like drug dealers and shit who ain't had a crew on point or Damn. Maybe a little do? weaker physically. It's like break your bread or 
All your homies murder. are going to see you getting fucking your, your cheeks clapped. Pause. Murder. That's why you got to, back then, you had to put that murder game down. Jesus. You know Not I mean? anymore. Nah, that's, it's a, it's a whole different time. The dope game now is just rap shit. Mm, really? It's equivalent. The economy is this rap shit. The the, the economy for the streets. Because it's, it's really no more crack. When I was growing up, it was crack on everybody. Mama had dope. Granny had dope. We all had dope. Now that shit is like scarce and hardly exists. Everybody smoking meth, and I don't, I don't think that's something good to sell. Like, is everyone smoking meth? Yeah. Shit. Smoking it, snorting it. That's the thing. It's an epidemic. Like normal, I'm actually, because like, because because for people who don't know meth, there are people who could get away with being functional meth heads. Yeah. But it's rare. Because it, cause it, cause you could get some work done on some meth. Yeah. You, you'll clean a whole fucking house, yeah. clean an engine. Yeah, you'll be up for three days. <laughs> you'll fucking dig through trash cans and fucking sell cans. <laughs> and fuck, <laughs> trust me, my, my whole family meth heads. My yeah. Aunt Wendy and my Uncle Billy, bro, these motherfuckers used to put bikes together. My aunt's fucking apartment was full of bikes. Yeah. Bike frames, bike parts. These motherfuckers would just be up for days putting bikes together yeah. and trying to sell them. Yeah. Stealing bikes. One of my most players homies growing up, he a little bit older than me, but I ran with him. And he was like super player. Like if he was like still on his shit today, he'd be like a real legendary notable, especially with me doing my shit. He remind like Sauce Walker remind me of him so much. Every time I see Sauce Walker, I think about my homie. But when I got out the pen, he was burnt, smoked out. He pull up on me on a bike with no uh with no tires on it, just the rim. Oh, the and rims? Shit. Yeah. Oh my God. That's yeah. not sustainable. You can't yeah, get far. Man. That shit was that shit crazy. I don't even be trying to see him when I be in the area. Like I hope I don't, cause it's like it fucked me up. You know what I mean? Off of meth. Off of meth. Oh. Talking to herself, tripping like, and it's a it's a slew of others too. Like I mean, I'm, I'm working the... on a like a doc about this shit though. About meth? Yeah. Cause it's an epidemic, bro. This shit. Well, people, swept people the these days talk about fucking fentanyl, not meth. That's like the, the, the fentanyl topic. and meth. Like fentanyl is killing everybody, so that's why it's like super popularized. But it's way more people doing fucking meth. Well, it's probably equal. Well, you know, because like, that's the thing: the pill shit and the meth shit. Well, you know, a lot of uh, engineers and video editors they're on uh, Adderall. Yeah, Adderall. Which is just, Adderall which is, is crazy just meth. too. So I took Adderall one time. It's literally meth. It's an amphetamine. I it's took just... Adderall one time. Um, and when I had the studio around the corner from mm -hmm. here, and my boy is telling me, bro, I do 10 songs off of this shit. I said, yeah. All right. And then one day I'm like, fuck it. Give me some of this shit. Right. Give it to me. I don't do not one song. We end up going to South by Southwest the next day. I drive my bins to the uh, airport, left it at the airport. Didn't sleep, none. Get out there, do my shit. I'm still up. Was this when I ran into you a couple years ago? Probably so. <laughs> Probably. No, 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 no. Before that. Okay, okay. Before that. Because we was, that was like two years ago. Two years, years ago. Yeah, that was two years ago. Yeah, no, no, no. We was like mushrooming right then. We were. Like that. Yeah, I was yeah, tripping yeah, yeah. balls. Yeah. Hey, that, <laughs> you know how to have a good time. But, uh, bro, I was tripping. I booked my flight early, left, and everything, and I didn't get nothing done. I said, I'll never do this shit again. <laughs> it was, like, not productive. It was yeah. the opposite. I know people who edit, like, they'll shoot a video, edit that whole bitch the whole fucking night, and you'd be like, wait, it's already done? Fucking Adderall. Yeah, that's like college kids meth, do though. that shit. And, yeah, they yeah, to study. They yeah, do Adderall, yeah. a.k.a. meth. Just, I don't know if you're sucking dick for Adderall. You might suck dick for meth, though. Huh? Yeah, Adderall is so easy to get. Do you get, you think you get like smoked out and burnt out and lose it behind Adderall? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. There's people I know that are addicted to that shit. Like they can't shit. function without it. But. To each his own, man. I never got uh, hooked to any like real drugs, thank God. Only never, thing that I I've never like, even done a pain pill. Only thing I couldn't stop taking was ecstasy. Mm. When ecstasy hit and was like good. Man, I was on that shit. Bro. Was it for the sex or would you just take it just to fucking all of the above? Take the X, boom. My my game, I'm spitting my best. I'm talking my best shit. Feel like I could run through a wall, turn, and then I'm fucking bitches to sleep. You know what I'm saying? And it feels better. Man, that shit was like 
the first night I took a half a pill. Mm-hmm. And after that, bro, I was like hooked for like a Is year. Because I've never done it. So like, I've, ne- I've always been scared of pills. So you are on ecstasy, like someone touches your arm or touches you, you know, the girl starts sucking your dick. It feels like way better. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's like. It's I just be fun. afraid these days to get like anything clean. Nah, these days it's like. Because you don't know what the drugs fuck you're is not Drugs not cool these days. I mean, they never been cool, right? But it's just But at least you knew safe. back then you were getting shit like that wasn't fucking. That's not going to kill you. You ain't going to wake up looking at the back of your eyelids. Yeah, yeah, it's tricky these days. Like, they putting fentanyl and everything. I know so many people done died from sniff and blow. Mm -hmm. That was late. They got some good cocaine. Find three niggas in a room dead. My office downtown, uh, I think like two people was, I'm coming to the office. They pulling the bodies out as I'm pulling up. Like shit crazy Downtown is crazy Me and him were down there I had to go do an interview At Food Community And it was in the middle Of Skid Row That shit was crazy We are dodging human shit And puke everywhere It was fucked Yeah downtown is nasty as shit It's crazy I know niggas that be Hustling down there Everybody like, traps downtown I'm Everybody like, In those high rises the, What's the fucking point Like niggas that actually Sell dope on the streets like I, the the high rises is all weed spots, but no, it's, it's all, like it's all the weed spots, yeah. But the like downtown niggas is actually hustling. Like my whole hand thing hand. is like, bro, we hustling to get fly and do fly shit, mm-hmm. right? So, like blending in with this shit and then starting to become that. What was the point of hustling if you downtown for two three years and ain't got a big ass house and and you still like that shit is it don't make sense. Yeah, I mean a lot of the like hand to hand. People were, that's so like, there's just no real money in that. Nah, you better off working at Target. Actual job. Yeah, you better <laughs> off working at Target. You'll make about the same amount of money and you won't. And you know, you're not going to jail. And you're not going to jail. Exactly. 